Welcome in everybody here to the Hutzel Athletic Center. We've got a doubleheader here between the Bethel Pilots and the St. Francis Cougars. It'll be the St. Francis Cougars taking on the Bethel Pilots in a women's action here to begin our night here at the Hutzel Athletic Center. We thank you so much for joining us here on the St. Francis Cougars Network. Hunter Sosenheimer here calling your play-by-play. -play. Excited to be here for this contest as we take a deeper look here at the, these two squads. First, the Bethel Pilots. They come into this one at 4-8 and eight on the season. They are 0-3 in the conference play. Uh, their losses coming to Goshen, 74-70, and then took a loss, 62-58 to, to Huntington, and then took a loss most recently to the number three ranked team in NAIA in Indiana Wesleyan University, 92-56. Meanwhile, for the St. Francis Cougars, they come into this one 8-4, and 1-2 and two in conference play. In conference play, they took a loss to Goshen, 77-68, Huntington, 77-75, and then also picked up a win against Taylor University, 68-41. This will be the first contest here for both squads out of the Christmas break as the St. Francis Cougars spent their break down in Florida where they were scheduled to play two games, but one of them got canceled. They did take a loss on Friday, December 15th to Ave Maria, 65-251, and that was their last contest, so just a few weeks since the Cougars last played. Meanwhile, for Bethel, they come into this contest with their four wins over Calumet of St. Joe, 90-24, Holy Cross, 76-68, Cleary, 59-45, and then picked up a win at Judson, 66 245. Well, we are a minute away here from action as we get set here at the Hutzel Athletic Center. It'll be the St. Francis Cougars taking on the Bethel Pilots. Excited to be here for this contest. We will go through the starting lineups and the national anthem here momentarily, and we will bring that to you here. Brought to you by our PA announcer, Jared Parcell. So we will go ahead and turn it down here to him momentarily. You are watching the St. Francis Cougars basketball here on the St. Francis Cougars Network.
There you have it, ladies and gentlemen, starting on up in the books here from the University of St. Francis. We are set and ready to go here for conference play action here between the Cougars and the Pilots. Let's run down the starting on ups here one more time for you in case you missed them. It will be number two. Kaylee Harrison, she is a junior guard out of Bloomingdale, Michigan. Number four, and Maria Claywell, she is a sophomore guard out of Union City. And then number five, and Maya Shelton, she is a junior guard out of Norwell High School. Got the Norwell basketball team with the Roman squad just right below us here. Sharing on some support there for Maya Shelton. Number 11, and Ella Hopper is a freshman guard out of Wabash, Indiana. And then to round out the starting lineup, it is going to be number 21 in Abby Williams. She is the junior out of Farmington Hills, Michigan. Meanwhile, for the St. Francis Cougars, Emily Parrott is a junior guard out of Fort Wayne, Indiana. Isabella Gizzi is the junior check it freshman guard out of New Palestine, Indiana. Chloe McKnight is a junior guard out of Bedford, Indiana. Julia Mansella the sophomore guard out of Middlebury, Indiana, and then at number 22 in Reagan Pate. She is a senior guard out of Granger, Indiana. Well, we are set and ready to go here from the University of St. Francis, the Hutzel Athletic Center. It'll be Abby Williams and Julia Mansella to jump it here. It will be St. Francis in the all-whites. Meanwhile, Bethel will rock the all-blacks in. We are set and ready to go as 10 minutes are on the board. It will be Bethel to win the tip. They'll start it with possession as Williams will have it on that far side. Gets it up top here, looking to drive down low. That is number five. And Maya Shelton, the kick out there. Jumper on the way is no good. Check it. There is a change to the starting on up number 12. Nyla Asat will be in the starting on up here for Bethel. Not sure who she replaced, but that was a last minute change here. So she is in the starting on up here for the Pilots. It'll be Parrots with possession here for St. Francis on this near side. They kick it to Mantilla. She'll drive down low, draws the foul, and she will head to the line to shoot here for the Cougars. Julia Mantilla, the sophomore guard, comes into this one, averaging nine points per game here for the Cougars. A tremendous three-point shooter as well here for St. Francis with 9.18 left to go here in our first quarter of action. Mantilla, an 81% free throw shooter. Her first one rattles home. And she gets the Cougars on the board here first. Second one for the sophomore. Rattles in and out. And the board is going to come down here to Williams. And she'll push quickly ahead. Now into the hands here of Harrison. On this near side, it's a side with it. Here for Bethel. Looking to drive on Gizzy. And uh, tries to take it outside there. And Emily Parrott going to get called for the reach and foul. That'll be the first team's foul of the quarter. And her first of the contest. And so Bethel will inbound 
with nine minutes left to go. We'll match up the timing once we get to it. My apologies there for got to stop the clock as this pass was split in between the defenders and Emily Parrott takes it away. She'll drive down low and gets the finish and she'll head to the line to shoot a pair here for the Cougars. Check it, they're gonna call a foul there on Emily Parrott. So an offensive foul on her, that is her second of the contest. So just a minute and three seconds into it and she already hit, picked up two fouls just in quarter number one. So in for her will be her running mate from high school number 14 and Taylor Fordyce, the freshman guard out of Carroll High School here in Fort Wayne, Indiana. The takeaway, Chloe McKnight got a piece of it and she'll get it out here near side to Fordyce. Looking to drive down low, she's cut off, off to McKnight. McKnight, another outstanding three-point shooter here for St. Francis, skips it cross court, and a three ball is hit there by Isabella Gizzi. And so 8.20 left to go here in quarter number one as St. Francis with a four-point lead, and they change that as Bethel goes up and gets the bucket. And four to two is now our score. Fordyce with it, she'll swing it, far side. Reagan Pate, the triple, got it. And so St. Francis doing what they do best. Raining from beyond the arc here early, back-to-back -back triples for the Cougars. And they are now out to a five-point lead. Claywell with it, skips far side now to Shelton. She'll get a screen, looking to drive down low on Fordyce, cut off. And wanted a travel call, did the Cougars bench instead. A three-point opportunity is no good there from Harrison. And McKnight comes down with the board here for St. Francis. Looking for the extra pass there to Pate. Instead, Fordyce hangs on to it. She drives, kicks out of the top of the key. McKnight, far side, Mansella the triple. Couldn't get it to go there. And the board comes down now to Asat. She'll push it ahead now here for Bethel. Kicks it in the corner on this near side. That's Harrison with it. Look down low to Williams. She'll drive, hangs, nice finish there for Abby Williams. As the junior gets the bucket there for Bethel. And a three-point lead now here for the Cougars with 6.55 left to go. Gizzy skips now far side here to Reagan Pates. Looks to come up top here to Mansella. She's able to maintain it. On this near side, now McKnight with it. Here for St. Francis, up top now to Fordyce. Five seconds left on the shot clock. Fordyce gonna drive, nicely done there. Saw an opening, took it right to the cup and she gets the finish. Five point lead now here for St. Francis. Harrison, hands off now here on this near side to Claywell. Williams now with it at the top of the key. Here guarded by Mansella. Williams picks up her dribble. Kicks it here near side. Harrison, the three ball attempt short on the marker. At about sand possession will go to St. Francis. Here with 6.09 remaining in quarter number one. It's a five point lead here for the Cougars. And so Fordyce will bring this one up ahead with it on that far side of wing. She'll skip it here near side now to Gizzy. Gizzy nicely done there. Gets around the defender. And a foul is going to be called. It will be on number 12. Now that Asad, that is her first. The team's second of the quarter. And so clock stop with 5.55 left to go. It'll be an inbound here for St. Francis underneath the basket. Fordyce set to inbound here for the Cougars. Fordyce gets it in there to Gizzy down low. Couldn't get it to go. Got her on board. Outside, McKnight. Far side now to Gizzy. Looking to go baseline here. She's cut off. Out to Pate. The triple. Couldn't get it to go there. And a second chance opportunity. Check it. Assad rips it away. And possession will go now here to Bethel. Assad looking to drive on Gizzy. Throws it over top. Nice find there to Williams. Couldn't get that one to go, and it goes out of bounds. Last touched by the Pilots, and so possession will go to St. Francis with 5.27 left to go here in quarter number one. It's a five-point lead here for the Cougars. Fordyce with it, looking for an opening on that far side. Skips it up top now here to McKnight. The step back triple, couldn't get that one to go. 
Board comes down now here to Claywell. Harrison pushes to us out on this near side wing. Looking to drive down low. Defense picked up here by St. Francis. She'll hand off now here to Claywell. Claywell looking to drive and a three second call is going to be called. Nicely done there defensively by St. Francis to draw it. And Ali Madden will check into the contest here for the Cougars. The 6-1 sophomore out of Blue River Valley High School. We've got a timeout called first though. It'll be called by St. Francis. We will step away here momentarily. You are watching St. Francis Cougars basketball here on the St. Francis Cougars Network. Back here live from the Hutzel Athletic Center, it'll be St. Francis with possession out of the three second call. A tremendous defensive possession there for the Cougars and they will now take possession with 4.56 left to go here in quarter number one. It's a five point lead here for the Cougars. And so Fordyce will bring this one up ahead here for St. Francis. Uh, she gets it across the half court line. Skips it far side, Gizzy. The look down low to Madden. And an offensive foul gonna be called on the Cougars on the battle down low. Allie Madden picks up the call. That'll be her first. The team's third of the quarter. And so an inbound coming here for Bethel. Harrison skips here to Assad. Up top now here into the hands of Claywell. All the way now, far side. They get it off up top here now to Harrison. Aside looking to drive down low. Gizzy there defensively. She pokes it away. Nicely done there. Isabella Gizzy on the knockaway. And St. Francis now with possession. Pates, the triple, couldn't get that one to go. Board loose down low. Williams comes away with it here for the Pilots. Quickly looking to go the other direction. The spin, pass back out to Williams. She'll drive on Madden. Nice finish there. Uh, she gets the bucket. The junior, number 21, Abby Williams, 6'1", out of Farmington Hills, Michigan, using the strength there to get the finish for Bethel. And now a three-point lead here for the Cougars. Madden couldn't get that lay-in to go there, and it's taken away. Harrison skips it here to Assad on this near side. Williams all the way across court. Now in that far side wing to Shelton. Hands off to Asat. Back up top here to Shelton. Looking to drive, help side defense. Leaves the triple option open here in the corner and it's hit there by number two. And Kaylee Harrison, the junior transfer out of Western Michigan University, played Division I basketball here for Bethel. And she drains the triple there and ties the game up here at a nine. McKnight with it on that far side. Gets it off to Pate. Back up top now here to Chloe McKnight. Gizzy looking down low for Madden. And a foul is going to be called. And it'll be on number 21 and Abby Williams. That is her second, the team's third. And so a trio of substitutions into the contest here for Bethel. As number zero, Caroline Miles. Check it, Caroline Morris. Number 14, and Aaliyah Foster. And number 33, and Shayla Alexander all into the contest here for the Pilots. Meanwhile, for St. Francis, Julia Mantela 
Checks on as she replaces Reagan Pates. So that one goes out of bounds. It'll be an inbound coming here from Fordyce and the Cougars. 2.58 left to go. We're knotted up here at 9. And now the official's going to have a discussion just right underneath the basket to clear things up. And we'll get an inbound here from Taylor Fordyce. She gets it in here to Chloe McKnight, who has it at the top of the key. Mansela, far side, now in the corner there to Gizzy. Mansela back with it. Gizzy looking down low for Madden. It's poked away. Out of bounds. Possession will stay on this end here with the Cougars. Fordyce inbounds. McKnight, triple. Got it. Nicely done there. Chloe McKnight drains it from deep. The junior guard comes into this one, averaging 13 points per game, and she is having a tremendous game here so far for the Cougars. Foster gets it off now here to Shelton. Shelton looking to drive down low on McKnight. Nice hands up defense and strong on the body there for the Cougars. Far side out, Alexander, the triple no good off the back end of the rim. And the board comes out here near side. Offensive board for Bethel as Foster with it. Looking to drive. Kicks back out to Alexander. Fakes the triple. The triple and goes in for the lay and Couldn't get it to go there. Out of bounds. And possession will go to St. Francis. Substitution into the contest here for Bethel as number 22 in Faith Davis, the junior. We'll check on and she will replace number five in my shelter. And so Fordyce set to bring this one up ahead here for St. Francis. Far side, McKnight. Gizzy with it at the top of the key here for the Cougars. Look down low here to Madden. Nice find there. Couldn't get the finish, but she will head to the line to shoot a pair here for the Cougars. As that foul is called on the number two, Kaylee Harrison, the junior. That'll be her first as Madden drains the first free throw. One forty-four left to go here in quarter number one. It is a 13-9 lead here for the Cougars. And Madden extends it there, joining the second free throw. And so it'll be Bethel now here with possession as Harrison skips it on up top here into the hands of Davis. Far side, looking to drive is Foster. Kicks out Alexander, looking for a triple there in the corner. Instead gives it up. Now at the top of the key here into the hands of Davis. Alexander back with it at the top of the key. Six seconds on the shot clock. She'll drive. And we've got a foul called down low. And that is on Julia Mantela. That is her first, the team's fourth. Hannah Ruddle, the freshman, will come back on here for Bethel as she replaces number two in Kaylee Anderson. Harrison, my apologies. They skip it on up top now here. Morris with it. And we got an offensive foul called. And possession will go to the Cougars with 113 left to go. Check it. Travel was called there. Fordyce will bring this one up ahead here for St. Francis. Skips it far side. McKnight. Gizzy now with it. Gets it off. McKnight the triple. Couldn't get it to go there. And the board comes down now here into the hands of Ruddle. One minute left to go here in our first quarter of action. A five-point lead here for the Cougars. Foster bangs home the jump shot there. And now a three-point lead. 45 seconds left to go. Fordyce will have it on that far side of wing. Look down low here to Madden. Madden going to post up her defender. Could get that one to go. Board loose, and it's going to come down now here for Bethel. Looking to drive. That's Ruddle. She'll drop off to Alexander. Left off down low. Knocked away. Mansela comes away with it. St. Francis can hold for the final shot. And send McKnight. Tried to find Fordyce down low. And that was thrown off a Bethel defender. 
And possession will stay on this end here with the Cougars. 16 seconds left to go. Reagan Pate will come on and she will replace Ali Madden. Inbound to Fordyce, who will have it on that far side of wing. Clock now down to 10. Fordyce drives off the screen from Mansela, kicks back out. Top of the key, triple, got it. Julia Mansela hits the three ball inbound here for Bethel. Ruddle, the triple at the buzzer, no good. And that is the end of our first quarter. St. Francis with a 17-11 lead over Bethel. You are watching St. Francis Cougars basketball here on the St. Francis Cougars Network. Back here live from the Hutzel Athletic Center. Ten minutes on the board. We're getting set for quarter number two. A six-point lead here for the Cougars as we get set to begin our second quarter of action. And so it'll be Cougars basketball as Gizzy inbounds here to Fordyce. And she'll bring it here to this near side wing. Mansela with it up top, off to Fordyce, now here on this near side. Gets a screen from Mansela, has Mansela back outside, instead dribbles into traffic, gets taken away. Looking to drive on that far side. Jumper from Alexander at the free throw line is short on the marker, and possession will go back. Now here to the Cougars. And so Fordyce brings it. Skips here near side, Pates now up top. Mantilla with it here on this near side wing. Gets it off here to Pate. McKnight, Fordyce, back to Gizzy. Six seconds on the shot clock. Turn around, jump shot, no good there from Fordyce. And possession will go back now here to the Pilots. Leading the way in scoring for Bethel there in quarter number one. It was Abby Williams with four points. Meanwhile, for St. Francis, Julia Mansela finished the first quarter with four. Jump ball possession will stay on this end here with the Pilots still inbound. 8.39 left to go. As Abby Williams will check back on here for Bethel. She replaces number five. And Maya Shop. Four seconds on the shot clock. Looking to drive down low. Foster couldn't get it to go. And board comes down now here to Mantilla. And she'll push it now here for the Cougars. Mantilla skips up top. They swing it far side now to McKnight. Gizzy in the corner back here to Mansela. The drive here from Pates goes up, draws contact, and she'll head to the line to shoot.
Foul is called on Shayla Alexander. That's her first team's first of the quarter. Well, Ryan Claywell and number 12, Nyla Hassan, will come back on here for Bethel. And it will be number 22 in Reagan Pate, the senior guard out of Granger, Indiana, averaging six points per game on the season. And she'll be at the line to shoot. First free throw there is up and good for her. Second one for Paints is up and good there. And so an eight-point lead and now here for the Cougars. As Ruddle will have it here on this near side. Gets it off to Williams. Running into each other there on that far side. And we're going to get a foul called on number 11. And Ella Hopper, that is her first. Check it. That was a foul called on Chloe McKnight. That's her first, the team's first. And so an inbound will come here from number 22 in Faith Davis, the junior, who just checked back into the contest. Hassan. Claywell with it. Skips here near side. Looking to drive down low. It's kicked out, corner triple, no good there. And Mansilla comes away with it here for the Cougars. Fordyce with it here at the top of the key. She'll get a screen from Mansilla. Works it back out now here to her. Far side now to McKnight. McKnight skips it cross court. Gizzy off to Mansilla. Back to McKnight with it at the top of the key. Seven seconds. She'll drive. Nice finish there. Chloe McKnight gets the bucket for the Cougars. That now gives her five points on the night. Side with it. Spins. Kicks out. They'll skip it all the way far side. Looking to try to pass down low. McKnight jumps on it. Jump ball is called. And possession arrow will favor the Cougars, so possession will go to them. Maya Shelton will come back on here for Bethel. As an inbound will come here for St. Francis. Gizzy. Up top now here to Reagan Pates. Kick here on this near side. Fordyce looking to drive. She'll hang. Couldn't get it to go there. Nice board by Williams. And possession will go back here to Bethel. On this near side. Looking to drive down low. Skips it. Showing the finish. Couldn't get it to go there. And the board comes down. And now here to Fordyce. Off to Mansla with it at the top of the key. Back to Fordyce, now with it on that far side of wing. But look down low, nice slip there. Julia Mansla gets the bucket, and a timeout is going to be called by Bethel, and we will step away. You are watching St. Francis basketball here on the St. Francis Cougars Network.
Back here live on the St. Francis Cougars Network, 608 left to go. It is a 12-point lead here for the Cougars out and running here to begin this contest. It'll be an inbound out of the timeout called by Bethel. Harrison skips it. They'll go now far side here into the hands of Claywell. With it at the top of the key. We'll work it here on this near side, guarded by Fordyce. Skips cross court. Harrison looking to drive. Foul is going to be called down low. It'll be on number 22 in Reagan Pates. And that'll be her first. Team second of the quarter. Allie Madden will come on here for St. Francis. As she replaces number 14 in Taylor Fordyce. And down underneath, Williams will have it. She'll hand off now here to Assad. Crossover, jump shot, nicely done there. She hits it. Hassan picks up her first points of the contest. And so Gizzy will bring this one up ahead here for the Cougars. Far side, now into the hands of McKnight. She'll skip it all the way across court. Pete, the triple, she gets it. Reagan Pate hits the triple, her second of the contest here tonight. And St. Francis now out to a 13-point lead. The block there by Mansela thrown away. No good there on the box out. Nicely done there by Mansela. And possession will go to St. Francis as Gizzy will have it at the top of the key. She'll drive down low, off to McKnight. With it, looking to drive, kicks far side, looking for Pates, over the top to Madden. Has McKnight left open, far side, kicks through the triple, she hits it. And we're gonna get another timeout called by Bethel as St. Francis goes on a little run there. Chloe McKnight drains the triple, and we will take a timeout here momentarily. You are watching St. Francis Cougars basketball here on the St. Francis Cougars Network. Back here live from the Hudson Athletic Center. It's a 16-point lead here for St. Francis. Out of the timeout called by Bethel. Uh, St. Francis rolling here offensively in the quarter number two. Hassan skips it on now up top here into the hands of Claywell. Back to Hassan looking to drive down low there on Gizzy. Nice hands up defense played by her. Skips in here near side Harrison. Kick in the corner, looking to drive down low. Nicely done there by McKnight. Just straight hands up defense to force the turnover. And Mansela comes away with it here for the Cougars. Pates now with it. Gizzy at the top of the key. Skips here near Son. Madden with it down low. All the way across court. McKnight with it on that far side wing. Throws it all the way across court. Mansela. Tried to keep it in bounce there, threw it off the defender there and Williams and out of bounds. We'll have an inbound here from the Cougars with six seconds left on the shot clock. It'll be an inbound here for St. Francis. And so Gizzy set to inbound here for the Cougars. Gets it in there to Madden down low. Nicely done there, she gets the finish. Harrison will move this one up ahead here for Bethel. 
Hassan with it. St. Francis playing tremendously here on the defensive end, forcing turnovers and a missed shot as they do there. And Gizzy now will bring it up ahead here for the Cougars on a run. With it at the top of the key, skips here to Pate. The elevator screen and the triple is hit there by Reagan Pate. Tremendous stuff there on the little elevator screen from Chloe McKnight. And Pate hits the triple and the Cougars now out to a 21 point lead. And a foul gonna be called now here on St. Francis. Tried to sell it there defensively. It'll be called on Gizzy. Check it, Mansela. that's her second, team's third, and so she'll sub out of the contest. She'll be replaced by Taylor Fordyce. Madden pokes it away here for the Cougars. Still on a run as Fordyce will have it on that far side of wing. Skips here near side, McKnight launches a triple. Couldn't get that one to go, Fordyce with the offensive board. Trying to look down low there to Madden, poked out of bounds. Last touch by Fordyce, and possession will go back here to Bethel. 2.36 left to go here in a quarter number two. Shelton with it here on this near side. And... Head coach Jeremy Henney wanted a foul called the down low. They're offensively on Bethel instead. It's going to be charged to Chloe McKnight. And so that'll be her second, team's fourth of the quarter. And someone inbound coming here from Harrison in the Pilots with 227. We'll have to go here in quarter number two. They get it in here to Williams. Double team, hands up defense and... A foul is going to be called down low. Ali Madden picks up the foul. That's her first, the team's fifth. And so Madden will check out. And for her, it will be number 33 in Lexi Shelton, the junior forward out of Mount Vernon High School in McCordsville, Indiana. And she'll come on to replace Madden. It's the first free throw missed there by Williams. Second one is no good there. So Fordyce quickly up ahead. Far side, nice give and go action there. Fordyce couldn't get the finish. And possession will go back now here to Bethel. And an offensive foul going to be called on the Pilots. As it'll be on number 21, Abby Williams. That's her third, a team's second. And so she'll come out. Caroline Morris will come on for her. Chloe McKnight will check out of the contest. In for her will be number one. And Emily Parrots. Who checks back in, picked up two early fouls in the contest. Just a minute and two seconds into it. Picked up the two fouls, so haven't played much here. But she'll check back into the contest with 140 left to go. Jumper from Pate is up and good. Skip here near side. Shelton with it. She'll drive, hangs, could get the finish. Board comes down now here for St. Francis. Parrott will have it at the top of the key here for the Cougars. With it far side, hands off now here to Gizzy. Fordyce will have it now at the top of the key. Looking to drive down low, tripped up. With one minute left to go, foul is called on a number four. And Mariah Claywell, that's her first. The team's third of the quarter. Shayla Alexander will come back on, and she will replace Claywell here for Bethel. 
Inbound to Pate. Shelton watches the triple. Couldn't get it to go there. Board comes down. Now here for the Pilots. Shelton checks it. That's Williams up top to Sneed. Couldn't get the three ball to go there. Second chance opportunity offensively is good there as the bucket is hit by Alexander. 30 seconds left to go now here in quarter number two. Parrott skips here in the corner. Pate back to Parrott with it here on this near side wing. 15 seconds left on the shot clock. Six second, six second difference between the game clock and the shot clock. Pate up top. Now here to Parrott. Parrott, four dice with it. Step back, jumper, nicely done there. Banks it. Quickly ahead the other direction. Here come the Pirates. Harrison at the buzzer. No good there. And that is the end of our first half. St. Francis with a 38-15 lead over Bethel. We will step away, come back with the halftime analysis and some stats. You are watching St. Francis Cougars basketball here on the St. Francis Cougars Network.
Back here live from the Hutzel Athletic Center. Let's go ahead and run down the halftime stats. Here first for the Bethel Pilots leading the way. It was number 21, Abby Williams finished the first half with four. Kaylee Harrison with a three. Mariah Clibwell with a two. And Nyla Hassan with a two points. Leah Foster with a two. And Shayla Alexander with a two to round out the team total of 15 there for Bethel. Meanwhile, for the St. Francis Cougars, it was Reagan Pate leading the way with 13 points. Chloe McKnight with eight. Julia Mansla with six. Taylor Fordyce with four. Allie Madden with four. Isabella Gizzi with three. So six scores there for St. Francis in the first half to round out the team total of 38 points. St. Francis shot 13 of 27 from the field of 48.1%. Shot 7 of 14 from beyond the arc. That is 50% from deep and 5 of 6 from the charity stripe. Meanwhile, for Bethel, they shot 7 of 26 from the field, 26.9%. 1 of 8 from beyond the arc and 0 for 2 from the free throw line. Bethel with 8 turnovers in the first half. Meanwhile, St. Francis with two, getting six points off of the eight turnovers from Bethel. 20 rebounds for St. Francis, 15 for Bethel. 17 of those came on the defensive end for St. Francis, three on the offensive end. Meanwhile, for Bethel, it was 12 defensively and a three offensively as well. Five steals for St. Francis there in the first half. And a team total of nine fouls in the first half for St. Francis. Meanwhile, seven fouls for Bethel. Chloe McKnight, Julian Mansella, Ali Madden, and Emily Parrott will all start the second half with two fouls. Meanwhile, for Bethel, it'll be the big Abby Williams with three fouls, the only one in foul trouble for the Pilots. So we'll step away here one more time, come back with the second half of action. You are watching St. Francis Cougars basketball here on the St. Francis Cougars Network. So Bethel will start the second half here with possession as it is St. Francis with the 38-15 lead here over the Bethel Pilots. Look at a screen to start it. The look down low to Williams. Couldn't get it to go. Second chance opportunity. She hits it. And so Parrott will bring it the other direction here for the Cougars to begin our second half of action. Parrott picked up to two fouls just a minute and a half into the contest. So she shot out a majority of the first half for St. Francis. But she is now back on the floor playing with those two fouls here for the Cougars. Hassan, the drive, nice finish there. She hits it. Parrott will bring it across the half court line here for the Cougars. Off to Mantilla with it at the top of the key. Skips here near side, now to Reagan Pates. Gizzy tried to pass down low to Mansla, turned over, and it will be Bethel to come the other way. Harrison, hands off, now here to the hands of Shelton. With it on that far side. Shelton kicks it here near side to Assad. 
Looking to drive down low there on Gizzy. Swings it here near side, Harrison. Look down low, turn around hook shot, no good. Williams comes away with the offensive board. It's an off, and we've got Not sure what we have is the call here. Either way, we'll get an inbound here from Bethel with 8.20 remaining in our third quarter of action. Drive, kicks here near Hassan. Hassan, the triple on the way, couldn't get it to go. Mantela tried to come down with it. Last touch, Bayer, as Williams went in to box her out. It goes out of bounds, and possession will go to. Check it, we'll stay on this end here with the Pilots. Mantela will check out Ali Madden into the contest here for her, as St. Francis is having a tough time in maintaining Williams here to begin the second half of action. She hands off to Assad with it here on this near side, looking to drive. And a foul is going to be called on the floor. It will be on Bethel. As Isabella Gizzi picks up the foul. And that is going to be her first, team's first of the quarter. And so it's an inbound. Williams with it at the top of the key. Hands off now here, Harrison. Swings in here, Assad drives baseline. Nice finish there. They battle out Stormy here to begin our second half of action. Parrott will bring it up ahead. She'll drive all the way down low. Looks the turn. Puts up a shot off the front end of the rim. No good. Madden, second chance opportunity. And she draws the foul and she'll ahead to the line to shoot a pair here for St. Francis. Timeout. It's going to be called by the Cougars. So we will step away. You're watching St. Francis Cougars basketball here on the St. Francis Cougars Network. Back here live out of the break, it'll be Ali Madden at the free throw line with 7.41 left to go here in our third quarter of action. The 6-1 sophomore will be at the line to shoot a pair here for the Cougars. Madden with four points on the night here thus far. She hits the first free throw there and makes it five. Second one for Madden, rattles its way home. And so Bethel will now have possession. Assad with it here on this near side, the screen from Williams, looking for her to flash down low. Kicks there, far side now to Claywell. Goes baseline, swings in here near side, the triple on the way. It is no good there from Harrison. Board comes down to McKnight. Fordyce quickly ahead. Over there, far side to Parrott, off to McKnight. The triple on the way, couldn't get it to go there. Board comes down though offensively here for the Cougars as Parrott comes away with it. It's thrown away. Asad leaking up the floor, she'll go up and gets the bucket. And so Asad picks up her fourth basket of the ninth. 
And it'll be St. Francis with possession. Fortnice with it on that far side. Off to McKnight, looking down low here for Madden, taken away by Williams. And so another little run here as we are matching runs. Bethel now with possession. Assad with it here on this near side. Looking to drive down low, couldn't finish. And the board comes down. Now here to Emily Parrott. McKnight back up top. Parrott with it at the top of the key here for the Cougars. She'll move it here to this near side. Looking down low, trying to find Madden. Instead, it goes up top. Now here to McKnight. Down low. Madden nicely done there. Puts it on the deck, and she gets the finish. And so Madden now with four buckets on the night. Eight points here for her. Oh, the triple on the other end. And nicely done there. Number five, Maya Shelton hits her first basket of the night. And she makes the three ball there for Bethel. 5.40 left to go. And we've got an offensive foul called down low on the Cougars. Allie Madden will pick it up. It'll be her third, team second of the quarter. Isabella Gizzi and Julia Mansella will come on here for the Cougars as Reagan Pate and Ali Madden will come off here for St. Francis. Harrison will have it on that far side wing here for the Pilots. Shelton with it at the top of the key. Looking to drive, kicks here near side, aside the triple on the way, couldn't get it to go. Chloe McKnight hit the deck hard there for St. Francis as Gizzy drives down low, nice finish. And Gizzy picks up her second basket of the night, five points and an offensive check it. Fouls called defensively there on Chloe McKnight. That is her third team foul, number three of the quarter. 5.07 left to go, number one. And Hannah Ruddle, the freshman, will come on here for Bethel as she replaces number two in Kaylee Harrison. Chloe McKnight will check out here as she hit the deck hard there on both. Plays there on the defensive end for the Cougars. And so she'll be replaced here by Reagan Pates. Another foul called on St. Francis defensively as Taylor Fordyce picks up the foul. That's her first team's number four. And so Ruddle will inbound here for Bethel. Kick here near side of side. With it, she'll pick up her dribble. Back cut down low by Ruddle. She'll take it baseline, brings it back out. Look down low. Now here to Claywell. Turn around shot, nicely done there. She hits it. Claywell with her second bucket of the night. And Bethel looking to make a little run here in this contest. 44-28 is our score. 4.30 left to go here in quarter number three. Mansella will have it on that far side. Pates now with it. Off to Mansella. The look down low. Check it up top there to Mansella. Couldn't hit the three ball there. And Bethel comes down with possession. Ruddle skips here near side to side. Look down low. Just a little wide there for Williams. Out of bounds. Last touch by the Pilots. And a timeout is going to be called by them. So we will step away here watching St. Francis Cougars basketball here on the St. Francis Cougars Network.
4.04 left to go here in quarter number three out of the timeout called by the Pilots. They'll have two remaining here in the quarter number three. Be an inbound coming here from St. Francis as the Cougars will have possession of the timeout. Fordyce will have it on that far side of wing. Looks down low here for Parrott. Nicely done there. She gets the finish. And Parrott will head to the line to shoot one here for St. Francis. The junior guard out of Fort Wayne, Indiana, Carroll High School graduate. 7, .7 points per game here in her junior season as she hits the free throw there for the Cougars. And that is her first points of the night as she now has three. Ruddle gets it off now here to Asad. Hands off. Claywell with it. Looking to drive. Goes far side now to Shelton. Shelton with it on that far side of wing. Oh, nice little give and go action. A foul is called though there before the travel from the Pilots. So 3.29 left to go. And the foul is called on Reagan Pates. That will be her second team's fifth of the quarter. And so it'll be number four. And Mariah Claywell, the sophomore, who will head to the line to shoot a pair here for Bethel. 14 for 16, now 15 for 17 from the line here for Claywell. 87% free throw shooter was a Crossroads League all freshman team member. And she hits the second free throw there. 17 point lead. Uh, Shayla Alexander will come on and she will replace Claywell after those free throws. Fordyce will bring this one up ahead here for St. Francis. With it at the top of the key here for the Cougars. Looking to get it to Mantle there. It's thrown away. Williams, the drive. Nice finish there. She hits it. So Parrott will have it now here for St. Francis. Under three minutes left to go. Here in quarter number three, Parrott drives on the double team, draws the contact, and she'll head to the line to shoot two here for the Cougars. Substitution into the contest here for Bethel as number two, Callie Harrison, and the number zero, Caroline Morris, will check on here for the Pilots. Emily Parrott. At the line to shoot two here for St. Francis. This is the first. Parrot second. She hits it. And so possession will go back now here to the Pilots. Uh, St. Francis enjoying a 16 point lead. As the far side triple there, no good. Alexander battle for the board, throws it away. Off the hands of Reagan Pate. And so possession will stay on this end here with Bethel. 234 remaining in quarter number three. So 2.34 left to go. They're going to change the shot clock from 11 to 19 seconds. And so Assad will have it on that far side. Free throw line jumper there is no good. Board battled for Alexander comes away with it. Off to Assad on this near side. Gizzy saves it. And this one's going to be knocked out of bounds. And St. Francis will take Possession with 2.17. Love to go here in our third quarter of action. Elliot Foster will come into the contest here for Bethel. Ali Madden 
We'll check back on here for St. Francis. As Emily Parrots will bring this one across the half court line here for the Cougars with two minutes left to go here in quarter number three. Gizzy near side, Mansla the triple, couldn't get it to go there. The board comes down now here to Harrison. Quickly the other way, Shelton off to Harrison, looking to drive out to Shelton, the triple, got it. And so it'll be Parrott now to bring it ahead here for St. Francis, 140 left to go here in quarter number three. Gizzy looking to go baseline, double team brought on her, trying to drop it off to Madden, and it was thrown away. Shelton pushes it up ahead on this near side into the hands of Foster. Back up top, step back, triple, couldn't get it to go there. Could Harrison, board comes down now here to Emily Parrots. Quickly looking to push the other way here for the Cougars. Gizzy with it at the top of the key. Has Pate open on that far side, they'll go off to her. She'll launch the triple from deep, couldn't get it to go there. And Shelton comes down with the board. Triple from Foster, short on the marker, no good, out of bounds. And last touch. By Bethel is the call, and so possession will go back to the Cougars with 49 seconds remaining here in quarter number three. And so Parents will bring it up ahead here for St. Francis. Far side now to Gizzy. Look down low here to Madden. Double team brought on her. She gets around the traffic and gets the finish. Shelton skips it on up top. The dive down low here from Morris. Nicely done there. Kisses it off glass for the bucket. And so Parrots will now bring it up ahead. No shot clock, 15 seconds remaining here in quarter number three. Gizzy with it, seven seconds. Far side now to Pates. Looking to go down low to Madden. Parrot comes away with it, two seconds. She'll get a shot off at the buzzer, no good. And that is the end of our third quarter. St. Francis with a 50 to 37 lead over Bethel. You are watching St. Francis Cougars basketball here on the St. Francis Cougars Network. Quarter number four underway here out of our break. It is St. Francis with a 13 point lead here over Bethel. The drive down low, Madden kicks here near side. Mansula will now drive off glass, couldn't get the finish. Madden there for the cleanup, she gets the bucket. And 
And the triple on the way here near side, no good. Mansilla comes down with it here for the Cougars. Off to Parrott, looking to drive up ahead here for St. Francis. Parrott will dribble it back out and set the call here for the Cougars. Pate up top, now here into the hands of Gizzy. Far side, now Parrott looking down low here for Madden. Pass out here near side. Pate with it. Five seconds left on the shot clock. Madden down low, goes up, off glass, gets the finish before the buzzer. Nicely done there, Ali Madden. Twelve, check it, 14 points on the night. Here for the sophomore, Ali Madden. Tremendous, but the bucket on the other end there from Callie Harrison. She gets it home, her second bucket of the night. Mansilla will have it here near side. Madden skips far side, a triple for Pate. She gets the three ball. Reagan Pate putting in buckets from deep tonight. I believe that's her third a triple of the contest. And St. Francis now out to an 18 point lead. Williams looking to make traffic. Hands off to Alexander. Mantilla takes it away. Gizzy comes in for the extra takeaway. She'll stop. Pops. Couldn't get it to go there. And Izzy draws the foul. And she'll head to the line to shoot a pair here for the Cougars with 7.52 left to go. Chloe McKnight will come into the contest as she replaces Reagan Pates. Nyla Hassan will come on, and she replaces Aaliyah Foster. And so Isabella Gizzi, this freshman guard out of New Palestine High School. New Palestine, Indiana, hits the first free throw there for St. Francis. Second one is up and good as well. So Gizzi now is seven points on the night, and 7.51 remains. Here in the quarter. Number four. As the kick out, top of the key on the way. It is good there. The triple from Faith Davis. And so Davis picks up her first points of the night. Parrott on this near side now to McKnight. Looking down low for the flash from Parrott. Skips it cross court, into the hands now of Gizzy. Back out up top to Mansilla. McKnight with it here near side. She'll hand off to Parrott, seven seconds left on the shot clock. Parrott takes the screen from Madden. She'll drive down low, no good there. Board comes down into the hands of Harrison. Bethel now looking to come the other direction. On this near side, Davis. They'll skip it back cross court. Three ball attempt to no good there from Harrison. And the board comes down now to Madden. Parrott with it, looking to drive down low. Off to Mansilla, nice find there. She goes up and gets the bucket. 6.30 left to go in quarter number four. Another turnover here for the Pilots. Gizzy drops off down to Parrott's travel call and possession will go back to Bethel. Fordyce will come into the contest here for St. Francis. And she replaces Emily Parrott. Timeout called by Bethel. We'll step away. You're watching the St. Francis Cougars basketball here on the St. Francis Cougars Network.
inbound here for the Pilots. Out of the timeout called by Bethel. They'll have one remaining. Meanwhile, St. Francis with three timeouts left. Assad gets it off far side. Look down low here for Alexander. Turn around, jump shot, no good. And the board comes down now here to Gizzy. She'll bring it up ahead here for St. Francis. Off to Madden. Check it. Comes off to McKnight. With it here near side. Skips all the way across court. Paint the triple. No good there. Board comes down now here to Fordyce. McKnight. Back with it here near side. Looking to drive down low. Skips it off. Kick out here near side. Far side triple from Pate is up and good. Reagan Pate having herself an evening here tonight. 16 points. Check it, 19 points on the contest here for Reagan Pate, the senior guard out of Granger, Indiana. Tremendous performance here for her tonight. Fordyce. With it, looking to drive down low. Nicely done there. The freshman gets the finish. Harrison. Williams now with it at the top of the key here for Bethel. And a foul is going to be called down low. Madden will pick up the foul. That'll be her third team's third of the quarter. As Shelton comes back on here for Bethel. Clock has not started yet here at the Hutzel Athletic Center. And now it'll finally run as I have 4.31 on my clock. 4.44 on the clock here at the Hutzel Athletic Center. Julia Mantla will come on here for St. Francis as Ali Madden will come off. And so we will reset the game clock here. As they'll put it at 4.38 left to go. Here in quarter number four. Fordyce will have it at the top of the key. Hands off now to Pate. Back to Fordyce. Looking to go baseline. She stopped. Double teamed on her now. She'll kick out to Pate. Seven seconds on the shot clock. Fordyce drives down low. Fouls called. It'll be on number four. And Mariah Claywell. That's her second. Team second of the quarter. Inbound comes on this near side. Pate, the triple, she hits it again. Reagan Pate on fire from beyond the arc here tonight. 22 points here for the senior. Tremendous performance. Kick out of here near side. Triple is good on the other end there. Maya Shelton hits it. And their last timeout will be called by Bethel here with a 349 remaining in quarter number four. We'll step away. You're watching St. Francis Cougars basketball here on the St. Francis Cougars Network.
Back here live out of the Hudson Athletic Center. It will be an inbound here for St. Francis. Out of the last time out, called by Bethel. And so Emily Parrott will have it on this near side of wing now to McKnight. Pate skips it up top now here. Fordyce looking to drive. Kicks here near side. McKnight with it here for the Cougars. Five seconds on the shot clock. Poked away out of bounds. Last touched by Bethel. And possession will stay on this end. Three seconds on the shot clock here for St. Francis with 321 left to go. McKnight inbounds to Parrott. Back to McKnight. She'll launch a long triple. Tries to go off glass. Couldn't get it. And Fordyce comes out with the offensive board. Poked out of bounds. And possession will stay on this end here with the Cougars. 18 seconds remains on the shot clock here. As Parrott set to inbound far side. Gets it in now here to Fordyce. And we're going to get a foul called defensively there on Bethel. As Nyla Saad picks up the foul. It'll be her second. And someone inbound will come here for St. Francis. McKnight will inbound for the Cougars. Gets it in to Mansela with it at the top of the key. Looking to drive out to Pate. Pate hands off now here to Chloe McKnight. With it here near side. McKnight on the drive gets the finish. And she'll head to the line. 4-1. Chloe McKnight. Tremendous stuff. Mariah Claywell picks up the foul. That's her third. And so Chloe McKnight at the line. And she hits the free throw. And so now points. Now on the night here for her. 2.50 left to go. It'll be Bethel with possession. Assad looks to drive down low. And a foul is going to be called. Emily Parrott will pick up the foul and we'll get a trio. Check it for substitutions into the contest here for St. Francis as Alexi Shelton, Maddie Schenkel, Sydney Freeman, and Deanna Craig will come on here for the Cougars. The only one stays on will be Taylor Fordyce. As out of bounds, last touched by Craig. And so possession will stay on this end. Here with Bethel, 2.33 left to go. Inbound as they get it in. Here to Williams, hit off. Jumper on the way, off the front end of the rim, no good. And the board comes down now here to Schenkel. Fordyce will now have it here for St. Francis. Far side, Shelton, the triple, got it. Lexi Shelton hits the triple for St. Francis. Outs now to a 30 point lead. Two minutes left to go. As the turnaround shot, no good there. Craig comes down with the board here for the Cougars. Looking to dribble through traffic there. And a foul is going to be called. And so Craig will now head to the free throw line here for St. Francis as five substitutions into the contest here for Bethel. As it is Faith Fleetwood, Paige Watson, Alasia Stewart, Hannah Ruddle, and number 11, and Ella Hoppert into the contest for Bethel. As both free throws hit there by Craig. 
And so we'll match up the clock at 145 left to go here in quarter number four. And so the Cougars looking to prove to two and two in conference play. They'll move to nine and four overall. Meanwhile, Bethel will fall to 0 oh and four in conference play. And they'll move to four and nine overall. Shot clock violation is called on Bethel. And so we'll get an inbound here from St. Francis with 120 left to go. Inbound violation is called on St. Francis. It's Matty Schenkel got ahead of the game there. And so it'll be an inbound now here for Bethel with 119 left to go. Far side, jump shot is good there. That's a two-pointer. And so one minute now left to go. As the turnaround shot is good there. Bucket for St. Francis. It's to believe that was Sydney Feem that hit that shot. Check it. It was Lexi Shelton with the jumper there for the Cougars. So 25 seconds left to go. They'll go to Shelton far side. Couldn't get that triple to go. The bench hyped up for her. No good. 15 seconds remains here in a quarter number four. As it'll be Hopper with it far side. They get it in the corner. Ruddle with the three. She hits it. And not sure what the call is here, but only two seconds left to go in our contest. And so they'll put five seconds back on the board here. Not 100% sure exactly why they did so. And so we'll get 5.6 seconds on the clock. But anyways, it will be Bethel who will fall to 4 and 9 on the season and 0 and 4 in conference play. Meanwhile, St. Francis will move to 2 and 2 and 9 and 4 overall. And so we'll finally get the inbound here to four dice and that will be our final and so the St. Francis Cougars they win this one 79 to 56 over the Bethel Pilots we'll go ahead and run down the final line scoring here for the Pilots it was Shelton who finished the night with nine Assad with eight Williams with eight Claywell with six Harrison with five Ruddle with three Davis with three Morris with two, Foster with two, Stewart with two, and Alexander with two to round out the 50 for Bethel. Meanwhile, for the St. Francis Cougars, Reagan Pate, the leading scorer with 22 points on the night. Ali Madden with 14, Chloe McKnight with 11, Julia Mansella with eight, Isabella Gizzi with seven, Taylor Fordyce with six, Lexi Shelton with five, Emily Parrott with four, and Deanna Craig with two. Team comparison, St. Francis shot 27 of 53, 50.9% from the field, 11 of 25 from beyond the arc for 44% and 14 
of 16 from the free throw line. Meanwhile, for Bethel, 21 of 58 from the field goal range. Six for 23 from three-point land and a two of four from the free throw line. St. Francis won the rebounding battle 38 to 26. Meanwhile, turnovers 11 for Bethel and 9 for St. Francis. Next up for Bethel, they'll head back home to take on Mount Vernon Nazarene University on a Saturday. Meanwhile, for St. Francis, they will take on Indiana Wesleyan on Saturday at 1 p.m. So we're going to go ahead and sign off. Make sure you join us for our boys contest here from the University of St. Francis. Until then, for Hunter Sosnimer, you have been watching St. Francis Cougars basketball here live on the St. Francis Cougars Network.